Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance. And uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Weekly tarot reading December 9th to December 15th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. By the way, this is going to be a new spread, eight card uh, spread. And it's not going to include elemental dignities because it's a bit stressful to do it. It's quite complex. Anyway, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic of uh, your week here, Cancer, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the energies which uh, which is which are uh, supporting the um, the topic that is going to be the Ace of Cups. Third card represents the challenge here. We do have uh, the Ace of Wands. Fourth card stands for the gifts and blessings for, from the week or that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Six of Pentacles. The fifth one it is how people see you throughout the week. That is going to be the King of Wands. The sixth one, it is about what can help you to manifest your goal here. We do have the death card. The seventh card, it is about what can uh, hurt you to manifest your goal. That is going to be the hangman. And the last one, it's about the guidance that Tsaru is offering. We do have the magician. Okay, lovely. So, uh, the first one, which is the topic, is going to be the Two of Pentacles. And then we do have the energies which are supporting the topic. That is going to be uh, the Ace of Cups. Those two cards need to be revisited together because they are tightly linked. So, what we have on our hands here is a week where very pleasant things are going to happen. Pleasant surprises, you may say, okay? <clears throat> that, however, are going to appear as a... Uh, can I say it? A peripheral, peripheral activities than your main, main endeavors. Therefore, uh, you are gonna find yourself throughout the week quite not overburdened, not busy, but let's say attentive. It's we do have in my language. We do have a word for that. It's kind of like when you have just enough time for everything okay and you don't have any spare time to think about bad things you know and to dwell into negative emotions so that kind of a week is what you do have ahead now it's important here however to um have an open mindset because uh, all these activities that you will have to go through or that you have in front of you to go through will require from you to be quite playful and to be capable to let go of, I would say, proven, not proven, but outdated concepts or in other words, to be adaptable, if you will. 
It is because those peripheral pleasant surprises that are coming around, they're going to make you very happy. And in general, they're going to, as the Ace of Cups dictates, uh, transcend your daily reality into much, much brighter uh, one. So what is going to be uh, the challenge here? Uh, that is going to be the Ace of Cups, uh, the Ace of uh, Wands, excuse me. And this is the challenge of um, the unknown, I would say. It is because the Ace of Cups, especially in a correlation with the first two cards, points that you may not be uh, entirely knowledgeable or skillful, excuse me, in regards to those new pleasant surprises. So uh, that being said, there will be a uh, some sort of a, a chaos around, or we could say that it is creative chaos around, and uh, because you may lack the, the, the entirety of the knowledge in regards to these pleasant surprises, either people that, that could be, you know, a new suitor, for example, or a new private um, endeavor that will allow you to improve your uh, financial state. Anyway, this will obstruct you of seeing how gaining for actually the enterprise and the opportunity is. And uh, those which are more worried that uh, to, 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 to make a risk, <clears throat> they may uh, abandon those um, quite gaining for enterprises. And it's not that you are going to lose something, it's just you're not going to gain anything. That's the biggest danger that you can, uh, or the biggest man is that it is looming in this week, okay? That you are not going to gain your stuff and not that you're going to lose because that is something that uh, we do have again into our language or in our mindset because if you don't win money or if you don't kind of like maximize income people in america say you're losing money you're not losing money because losing money is to lose actual money that you do have those money are money that you don't have therefore you don't winning money or, or you're not you're not gaining money but you're not losing money as well so it's the same thing here you're not going to lose anything but you may not gain anything either if you're not uh, determined to experiment and to just throw yourself into action here throughout this week so the next card it is about the gifts and blessings that you can uh, expect to have throughout the week that is going to be the six of uh, pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is the little brother of the Hierophant. It's uh, really about hierarchy. You can expect that things are going to be in a flow, in a current, if you will. And the, and the stream is leading into a, a specific direction, into a specific point, And things are going to develop exactly as they are supposed to. Another blessing here, it is that you are just strong enough to make it true or to pull it through and you don't need anybody's help as a matter of fact this card points that you alone are going to come to the realization that you ain't going to need anybody around but you can actually do it yourself so uh, the other cards it's uh, pointing of how people sees you and that is very important here we do have the king of wands so people who sees you as a very cheerful and in generally quite evaluated or lifted kind of an, an individual individual who has that uh, knack for having good life enjoying themselves that's first thing so you are going to make it quite good company as a matter of fact people will seek your company the other way how people are going to see you is as a, a very ambitious kind of individual that's on its own accord is going to raise you quite uh, quite high into the pe into people's um, uh, assessment if you will uh, and that is a quite good thing in regards to a career because um, just to give you an example here, your boss with this card is going to see you as someone who is capable to transform good ideas into very powerful actions and eventually achieving success. Same thing goes in regards to relationship as well. So in generally, people will see you as a quite a determined person to produce results. 
Uh, the next card here uh, represents what you can do in order to improve your goals or to chase your goals, to manifest your goals. And that is the death card. And in this case, the death card points that you have to let go. Desperately, you need to let go of noxious habits. Uh, goals that are already dead. Goals that has no chance whatsoever to be manifested. You are just feeding those goals with a, a celluloid expectations or celluloid dreams that you do have. And in general, you got to burn bridges with the past that are just holding you back. Even if that means that you need to burn the bridge with an ex of yours, a bridge with a, um, a, a job of yours, you know, bridge with friends and so on and so forth. That card here points that you are holding on right now or you are carrying right now things from your past that are serving you no favor whatsoever and they are just remnants, wraiths, ghosts, and you just have to let them go. And uh, the other card points of what you should not do, um, because uh, the card represents, you know, what can hurt your goals, and that is Hangman. And it's pretty much uh, refers to changing of uh, strategy and changing of plans. You do have a good strategy. You do have actually the accurate strategy and the accurate plan. Do not change it. Okay, so this is what you should not do to change your plan and to um, in generally stow your emotion or stow your drive. And instead you have to push. Instead you have to always do something to um, throughout the week, I mean, instead of resting, for example, to, um, to further your goal in any way you can. You always need to try to find a way. Uh, to do it. So instead of giving up and thinking that different actions are going to produce better results. I mean, you pretty much figured out the best actions possible, at least for the time being that you can execute in regards to uh, your goals. And the last one here uh, stands for the guidance that Tsaro is offering. We do have uh, the magician. So magician <clears throat> guidance wise, uh, tells us the biggest thing that tells us it is that you do have so much potential to be better okay to become better at your work at your romantic life uh, with your friendships as well it's just you know when you do something and it doesn't turn out the way you are expecting instead of being sorry you can simply be better, okay? And you can do it better next time around. Another thing that the card points here as a guidance, it is that your communicational skills are going to be exceptional throughout this week. As a matter of fact, this week, it is the week where you negotiate your way through. So if you want to negotiate new salary, promotion, uh, new rules of relationship, that is the week you do it. And the last one, it is that whatever actions you are um deciding to do throughout the week because this is a week of actions for you. Those actions always need to be supported with the, uh, with determination, all right? It's kind of like you, they have to be decisive. You need to show that you are decisive in regards to those actions. And this move, those moves, excuse me, are gonna win you followers, supporters, people that are gonna cheer for you, people that are gonna uh, be um, always, uh, people that always gonna have your back. So that being said, Gem uh, not Gemini, but Cancer, uh, this was your a weekly tarot reading, December 9th to December 15, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're gonna see each other next time. Until then.